Welcome to the introduction to the IRAPS Star Rating Demonstrator. In this introduction, I'm going to show you where you can find the IRAPS Star Rating Demonstrator and how to use it. So first off to get to it is head to vida.irap.org. If you don't already have a VEDA account, click register to set yourself up with one. If you do have an account, click login and enter in your user details. Once you've logged in, you'll be taken to the VEDA dashboard. From here, you can get to the demonstrator by clicking the demonstrator button. This will take you to the single page that is the demonstrator. First off, you'll be shown the load and save tab down the bottom of the screen. You can use this to pick a road section that is very similar to the one you want to assess. Within the selection, we've got a number of different high and low standard urban roads, rural roads, and motorway or expressways, and also some other road scenarios. Note that the star rating demonstrator gives you the star rating and the star rating score for just a single 100 metres of road. So if you select an intersection, it will give you the star rating just for that 100 metres that the intersection is in. So once you've selected your starting example, you can then use the tabs to change the configuration of the road to suit yours. So for example, on this road, if you had trees set further back from the road, you can choose a drop down menus to change it, say five to 10 meters. Notice when you make a change, you'll see these bars move. This is the star rating score being adjusted. In this case, that change wasn't big enough to actually change the star rating. But if I moved the trees on the other side back as well, you'll notice these have both moved into three star. As you go through the different tabs, you can see all the different road features that you can record, whether it's mid block, intersections, flow. And one thing to note on the flow is that if there isn't flow for a specific road user, for example, we don't have any pedestrian flows or bicycle flows, they will not get a star rating. If you want to get a star rating for them, put a flow in there and you'll see a star rating appear. Also, vulnerable road user facilities and land use can be adjusted. And finally, speeds. Please note that the star ratings are based on the greater of the speed limit and the operating speed. That is the 85th percentile. So if you adjust the speed limit on this road and lower it, notice there'll be no change in the star ratings. It's only when I change the greater of them to below the other one, you'll see the star ratings adjust. Another feature of the star rating demonstrator is you can click on the chart button and this will show you the different crash types and their risk for this 100 metres of road. Here you can see I've got a section of grey and this relates to head on loss of control, a bit of orange and that's run off to the passenger side and a bit of light blue and that's run off to the driver's side. Likewise, the motorcycle has a similar distribution but also some a long risk. And of course, bicycles, they also have a long risk because there's no intersections here. It's worth noting that star rating demonstrator doesn't save the state in which you've left it when you return to it the next time. So if you want to save a section of road, you have to press the save button. So put in a suitable name and a suitable description. If you've got a number of different road scenarios, so let's pick another one here, and you, have, you want to save them. You can actually use them in combination to actually create a coding file that could later be uploaded to VEDA. So if you wanted to build up a longer stretch of road and you had some common cross sections, you could do it this way. So you'd then create that one, Add in the first 100 metres, decide which one it is, whether it's one of the standard ones or an example you have built. And you could keep doing this until you've got the roads that you actually want. And then you can download that file. And later on, that could be actually uploaded to VEDA or even just stored to understand the star ratings for that road.
it's here and now it's available to download to your computer. Once you've finished with the demonstrator, you can return back to VIDA by using the dashboard button at the top. And this will take you back up to VIDA, at which point you can do other things within VIDA. Thank you for listening.